of Spec Ops The Line is the story of three soldiers. You play as Captain Martin Walker, the leader of a Delta Recon squad who's sent into Dubai after the city's been ravaged by these cataclysmic sandstorms. You're looking for Colonel John Conrad, the commander of the Dam 33rd, who went in to help evacuate the city. As they were evacuating, this massive sandstorm hit and everyone in the city was believed dead. Six months later, a mysterious kind of broken radio signal is picked up coming out of Dubai. And so you're sent in to see if there are any survivors left. Conrad's still alive. I think he is. I know he'd agree with me. Tracks end here. Guess this is the nest. Walker is a bit of a mystery. This is a commander, a, a professional soldier. He has to keep this little bit of emotional distance from uh, Lieutenant Adams and Sergeant Lugo, your squad mates, because he has to sometimes give them orders where they are going to possibly go to their death. Gotta be smart about this. Okay, moves right there, and I got a clean shot. We're fine now. The civilians are dead. Lieutenant Adams is Walker's second in command. He is also the demolition expert in the heavy gunner for your squad. Sergeant Lugo, on the other hand, is a rookie. This is his first mission as a Delta operator. The relationship between him and Walker and him and Adams is going to be very different and evolve differently throughout the game. Christ, these soldiers were massacred. Nah, look how they're lined up. This was an execution. Colonel John Conrad is, in many ways, this larger-than-life soldier. Tango down! This is a man who is both a brilliant strategist, but also the best example of a soldier that he can possibly be. Cover me! I'm reloading! The characters in Spec Ops are not static. These are not going to be the same people that you meet at the beginning of the game by the time you reach the end of the game. Begin. No! What happens to them and what happens to you is similar to what has happened to Dubai. The sandstorm has stripped away everything that they thought they were to who they really are. We're gonna keep at this until you tell me what I want to know. The moral choices in Spec Ops are different from what players have come to expect out of a video game. They are not between A or good, B or bad. These choices are about holding a mirror up to yourself. Fuck it. I'm taking the shot. Wait for your order, Sergeant. We chose to set Spec Ops in Dubai for two reasons. One, this is not meant to be a game about global conflicts. You are not fighting other nations, you are not fighting terrorists with a nuke. So we didn't want people to be thinking about any conflicts that are currently happening or maybe have happened in the recent past. Also, Dubai is a metaphor in a lot of ways for what the player and the characters are experiencing. This is a city where there should not have been a city, but men with money and power just came in and said, I'm going to build whatever I want. And then the sandstorms came, the desert retook it, and nature said, no, you, just because you want to do this does not mean it can happen, does not mean it should happen. The CIA doesn't start when you can't finish. Well, now's the time to prove it, because I'm not telling you shit. No! What the hell? <laughs> the inspiration that we had was not necessarily to recreate a character from a movie or a book that necessarily people liked, but instead to create real characters that felt like they were actual people, soldiers that were with you on this journey and not just tools that you were giving orders to and commanding around a battlefield. All insurgents wishing to surrender, please report to your nearest outpost for processing. We had many military advisors on the game who were constantly going over the script, um, checking it for accuracy, and also at the same time performing our mocap so that we uh, had our characters moving like soldiers actually would move. Spec Ops is a game about who we are as gamers, and that's where the title of the game comes in. Spec Ops, the line. That line between expectation and reality. Who these soldiers think they are and who they actually are. Who we as gamers think we are when we choose a game, and ultimately who we actually are as we play that game.